Hi everyone, this is the video manual for the Ondo 4x5 large format cameras. Let's start with a regular 4x5. The camera is made out of walnut wood and it comes with a protective camera pouch to prevent any scratches or damage during general use. You will also receive a wooden exposure chart and a snap-on filter mount so you can use filters with your 4x5. The thread dimension is 58 millimeters and snaps on the camera like that. 4x5 is available in walnut or ash. They both have the same design and characteristics just that the wood is different and both cameras have field of view engravings, leveling bulbs, so we can keep our horizons straight, as well as standard tripod mounts for mounting our camera. To load the film, we simply remove these magnetic retainers, which are held together very strongly. So there's no risk of uh, losing the back during use or accidental light leaks. We also have a special 4x5, which, you, which has three pinholes, one in the center, the same as the regular Ondo, and with two extra positioned on the thirds of the film plane. This gives us the option to shift, actually to raise or lower our uh, horizon of the image without distorting the vertical lines of our shot. This camera has one extra tripod mount for this purpose, as well as one extra leveling bulb and extra engravings for this purpose. It is compatible with filters as well, just that this one uses cooking a series filters which snap on to this recess and do not obstruct the camera during use. The 4x5s, both regular and rise, are also compatible with Polaroid 545 backs, which we mount on the back like this and secure it tight with. with these knobs that we supply with your camera. Okay. All right. It's held firmly, it will not fall off. There's no risk of light leaks. To expose your image, you take your supplied wooden exposure chart, set your camera or light meter to the same film sensitivity that you have in your film uh, holder and set your aperture at f22. Once you have those two settings, you can take a, a reading of your subject, what you're trying to take a picture of and look at the corresponding, the bottom column for your exposure time. So if your reading shows 1 15th of a second, your resulting time is five seconds. That means we open the shutter, wait for five seconds and close it. And that's pretty much it when it comes to this, these two cameras. In every other respect, they are the same. They have 0 0.3, 0 0.35 millimeter pinholes with a focal length of 64, uh, which gives us an f-stop equivalent of 186. That would be it for now. If you have any more questions or if you would like to like us to go into more details about any certain subject about these two cameras, please leave us a comment below. And you can also visit our website ondupinhole.com for example shots made with these and all the other cameras in our range. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.